Hi, this is Dave Hunt. I'm an application engineer with the ESOF division of Keysight Technologies, and I wanted to take a few minutes today to go over one of the more, I think, powerful technologies available to you in our software portfolio, and that is the utilization of what we call verification test invention. And today I'm going to show you the application of that technology from within the Cadence Virtuoso environment which we have a very strong interface into for doing simulation using the Golden Gate simulation simulator. Um, first, I wanted to go through though and just cover some of the basics of verification test benches and what they, uh, what they entail and why we use them. Uh, verification test benches make use of uh, our system view technology. System view is a system level algorithm based technology that provides very powerful uh, uh, application-based uh, technology to do uh, complex modulation waveforms and application of those waveforms into complex systems. We're able to bring that technology into some of our other simulation environments, such as ADS and Golden Gate, and allow you to offer complex waveforms, complex, for example, wireless, radar, any number of different complex waveforms that you'd like to analyze from within your own uh, a design base and design space. So what are they? As I said, we'd like to be able to utilize uh, complex spec compliant signals as opposed to, uh, for example, ideal sine waves uh, in terms of rental, rental air simulation uh, for doing things like ACPR, doing things like EVM measurements, uh, CCDF measurements. Uh, once you're able to bring those types of signals in, to your, to your design space, you have a much better understanding of what your design limitations are. Are you on the right track? Are you spec compliant earlier in the design phase? These types of things are really critical in understanding what your, uh, what your design direction is going wrong or right in terms of where you are. So the system view technology I mentioned uh, is really at the heart of generating these complex waveforms uh, we utilize a synchronous data flow simulation technology that allows us to create virtually any complex modulation scheme that we'd like to use. I'm going to be showing you actually a 5G new radio system today. Uh, SystemView offers a wide variety of uh, different cellular wireless uh, specification waveforms, uh, 5G being, of course, the latest and greatest and still in development. Um, so what we're going to show you is how we're able to bring this particular verification test bench into Golden Gate and Cadence Virtuoso and utilize it in the design that we're actually building inside that particular design space. So system view creates the complex technology for doing the complex modulation, complex waveforms, utilizing these waveforms uh, as both a source and a sink, which we can then bring in, as you will, as a design block and run this particular source and sync around our own particular design. And we can also do this, you know, as I mentioned before, within our ADS simulation space, utilizing, uh, first we do this in system view, create the link to ADS, and then export this particular waveform technology, both on the source side and the sync side into a block, which can then be brought in as our nice, easy to use, complex modulation source to use with our own particular design. So again, easy to generate, easy to import, and allowing you to bring all of these measurement-based complex waveforms into either ADS or as we show here, into a Cadence Virtuoso, utilizing the Golden Gate simulator. Golden Gate is the um, simulation engine that is seamlessly integrated directly inside Cadence's um, analog artist environment. Uh, it's been around for almost 20 years now and is a well-proven as the industry source for being the go-to simulation engine for high transistor count, complex uh, uh, transistor level design and, and simulation. So without further ado, I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and jump in and show you the cadence environment and how we incorporate a verification test bench into this environment. So as you can see here, we have a typical cadence design scenario. I have a uh, 
GPDK design, GPDK is our generic PDK, as we call it in the key site world, uh, that we have incorporated inside several different workspaces and several different um, workshops uh, inside of our tool sets. One of these is the Golden Gate Workshop. Uh, we utilize this technology. It's basically an old 180 nanometer um, uh, technology. It's been around forever. Nothing special about it, but it's great to illustrate what we have here in terms of a nice transistor level design. Now, I can traverse down into this design and show you uh, all the different uh, uh, pieces that are involved. There's our, D, there's our PA core. This is actually a PA design utilizing uh, inductors, capacitors, uh, transistor level um, design all the way down. So again, what we're incorporating here is really a, uh, a hierarchical design in cadence that you would design purely in some design kit uh, inside of the uh, cadence environment that we're able to run into, into this, uh, this, uh, this environment and show you all this from start to finish. So what we're going to do now is come over to our analog artist environment and show you how we set up a verification test bench from within ARTIS. So what we have here is the, our, our ARTIS environment uh, utilizing, uh, as we set up the simulator I showed you before. So I'm going to first of all save my state that I have here, already set up. And you can see that Golden Gate is now one of the simulation options that we have in the ARTIS environment along with Spectre and other ones. Um, as I said before, we've been integrated inside the cadence environment for a number of years now. So I'll go ahead and choose my analysis. In this case, it's going to be an envelope transient because we are running both utilizing complex modulation. We'll need to run an envelope transient simulation, which utilizes both transient and harmonic balance components to accommodate both the carrier and the low, the low frequency baseband signal, uh, which is handled by transient. So if I come into my envelope transient controller in Golden Gate, you note that we have a number of different simulation engine types available to you from within Golden Gate. Harmonic balance, large signal S parameters, scanning compression, transient S parameter, all of these are in play. So as we go and look at our envelope transient, let's sort of take a look around here and see what we have. We have our carrier de definition, which is set by a variable over here in Artist. I have my fast envelope settings here, so I can actually speed my simulation up utilizing the fast envelope simulator. And down here is my stimulus. I can set the standard stimulus up here if I wish to utilize an IQ waveform, uh, utilize an exported model if I, or imported model if I wish. And one of my options is for VTB, which is now incorporated inside the artist environment for use by Golden Gate. The verification test bench can then be brought in by a number of different ways. If I want to browse my library, I can have built either my own custom set of Golden Gate DTBs utilizing System View, or System View comes with a set of pre built, very nice, easy to use, complex waveform generators for you to use inside your environment. And as I mentioned before, uh, I'm going to be utilizing the 5G simulation environment here today. And in this case, I've got it set up to where I'm utilizing my carrier. As you can see here, this verification test bench has all of the parameter setups required for utilizing the different um, waveform settings for a 5G new radio waveform. The numerology, um, the bandwidth setting, which is set here to 5 megahertz, the modulation type, all of these are preset and used for the VTB and set up by you. All of these are the same exact settings you'd see if you were using the same 5G radio source inside of our system view tool. So we're just bringing that over and bringing it into this environment for use here inside the Golden Gate environment. And one other thing to note is that when you run a verification test bench, you are actually calling the system view tool binary to run in the background to generate this waveform information and to run inside this environment. So Let's see, what else can we show you here? I can also show in Golden Gate that I'm also utilizing a, a power sweep that's going to be used here. I'm gonna be sweeping the input power from minus five to minus 20. And when I do that, I'm gonna use the Golden Gate performance calculator to actually look at my EVM performance at the output from this generated waveform in Golden Gate's uh, performance calculator. I'm, I'm utilizing, what's nice about this demo here is I'm utilizing both the Golden Gate calculator, if you would, the performance generator for doing EVM
Bayesian calculation. I will also be utilizing the ADS data display, which is an extremely powerful post-processing tool. We look at some other 5G parameters from this particular simulation as well. So at this point, uh, which is, let's see, what else can we look at? There's my power sweep. There's my EVM performance. Here's my uh, carrier setup, which is going to be set up for 2.412 gigahertz. Um, and the verification test bench is then set up to run. Oh, one more thing I want to show you. How do I connect this thing up? How do I actually incorporate this inside of this particular schematic? Well, when I set up this connection tab here inside of the VTP settings, this is where I sort of set up to override the existing source and sync inside of my schematic inside of Cadence. So I utilize this VTB source. I'm going to override this PSIN in and PSIN out setup in the schematic and utilize my VTB as my injected signal and source for this particular schematic. So when I do that, I essentially just select what net for the input for the positive node and negative node here. And I also select what positive and negative node for my output I'm going to be selecting for my uh, sync. And I select the corresponding um, series resistances and parallel resistances for those input and outputs. So that's really it. Once you've done this, you've naturally, you now begin to override your existing uh, sources and seeks inside the schematic. That's really all there is to it. Really nice, simple setup for putting this VTB in play in your cadence schematic. So at this point, what I can then do is kick off a simulation in Golden Gate from within the artist environment, which I'm going to do now. Start the net listing. This simulation is a power sweep that takes about, uh, I want to say, three to four minutes to run in this particular simulator. So I'm going to pause this recording and let this simulation finish, and we'll take a look at it once it's done. Okay, so let's have a look at our simulation results. That simulation took, as I said, about three minutes, 23 seconds to run. And we did do a power sweep. And uh, you can see in the uh, simulation log window from Golden Gate that we actually have all of our processing, all of our power sweep information in place. There's the, uh, the results file written. There's the time of simulation. Um, we can then come in. One of the things we're able to look at in Golden Gate, if you recall, we did set up to do an EVM measurement for this output in Golden Gate uh, versus the input power, which we can now view directly. This is a EVM as a percentage value from the input power to the final output power. We can see the overall degradation in our EVM measurement as we go up in power, which we would expect to see. Uh, in a simulation like this to get a nice view of what the EVM is going to look like and what we can expect out of our design, how much distortion we're going to introduce with respect to this EVM signal. Also, we can utilize the ADS data display to look at uh, other things that are in play with regard to this 5G signal. Uh, we can look at our CCDF, both at the input and at the output, uh, utilizing the, uh, the data display tool. Uh, the, dis the data set for VTBs generates a plethora of information for you to have in, at, your, at your disposal for analyzing these complex waveforms. I'm able to look at both the input and the output spectra of the signal, the 5G new radio signal coming into and out of this based upon, as we talked about before, we have our sync and our source now incorporated, incorporated directly into the schematic. I can look at my input and output waveforms here if I wish to do that. I can even go so far as to take the uh, spectral data and utilizing some equations here, I can actually create my own little customized ACPR measurement here based upon the offset signaling. I can even create some markers here and do some on the fly bandwidth changes to watch and see how my output power and ACPR changes versus uh, the main channel power, which is the minus 30 signal you see here. This is the bandwidth power between marker one and marker two here. And I can do an ACPR calculation very quickly to get an idea if I want to do such a measurement on this waveform and get an idea where I am with regard to my specification. So again, the big picture is I'm able to take a look and see how I am doing versus my spec much earlier in the design cycle if I have a capability such as a verification test bench to look at these waveforms, 
bring them through my actual design any cadence and get a sense of where I am right out of the gate with regard to my initial design phase. This may be, this may be version one of my design. Am I even in the ballpark of my spec? Am I, am I where I want to be? And am I headed in the right direction with this particular uh, design configuration, this particular architecture? Uh, this lays it out on the line directly for you when you actually have a capability like this to bring directly into your cadence design environment and run a simulation like this very quickly and very efficiently using our fast envelope technology. So I hope this was a useful and uh, helpful bit of information for you, both as a overview of what verification test switches can do, how easy they are to integrate, and how valuable they can be to your design philosophy moving forward. Uh, we appreciate your time and attention and look forward to hearing from you if you want to know more about these particular tools. Uh, take care and have a great day.